This video tutorial will show you how to navigate Niracusa's Erdap server so you can easily find the data you need. Because Niracusa has been continuously collecting data on many variables since 2001, it can be challenging to know where to begin your search. Erdap is a data access protocol, or server, that gives users the ability to download scientific datasets in common file formats. It makes graphs and maps. The Niracus Erd app contains oceanographic data. Different scientific communities have developed different types of data servers. Erd app unifies data from servers that store information in different ways so you have a single, consistent way to retrieve the data you want in the format you want. Format types include Keyhole Markup Language, also known as KML, PDF, image formats like PNG and JPEG, an HTML table for use in spreadsheet software programs, plus many more. Let's get started. This is the main Niracus ERDAP homepage. From here, you can access data from all Niracus datasets to create graphs, maps, and tables. There are four ways to find data. One, choosing from all datasets. Two, searching keywords. 3. Search by category, and 4. Advanced search. First, I'm going to show you how to find your data by choosing from all datasets. Simply click the hyperlink that reads, View a list of all datasets, and the ERDAP interface appears with all Niracus datasets from each asset. To determine which asset has been recording the data you are looking for, use the Niracus Funded Assets, Data Types, and Length of Time Series spreadsheet on our website. For more information on how to navigate from here, stay tuned. The advanced search walkthrough will continue straight into making graphs and tables. The process of turning a data subset into a graphic is the same regardless of which search type you use. Now I'll show you how to find your data using the full text search bar. All you need to do is type a keyword in the search bar. Keywords can be data types, the name of the institution running the monitoring site, location, and anything else related to your desired data. Examples of keywords are phrases like meteorology, wind, wave direction, University of New Hampshire, Great Bay, NOAA, etc. In this case, I searched for the text University of Maine, which operates seven Niracuse buoys, and got this list of results. In a couple of minutes, I'll show you how to get from here to an output like a graph or table. Now I'll show you how to find your data by category. Click one of these hyperlinks and you'll be brought to this page. Select an attribute, like institution or keywords, and pick a variable. The results will appear underneath the menus. I wanted to find data from the University of Maine, so I've selected institution as my attribute and University of Maine as my variable. Next, I'll show you how to find your data using the advanced search tool. If you want time series information for multiple stations, this is a particularly effective search. First, click this hyperlink. From here, you can search by place and time, but also use tools from other search options like search by keyword and search by category. I still want to find wave height data from a monitoring site run by University of Maine, so I typed the keywords in the search bar and selected University of Maine under institution. Here are the datasets that resulted from my search. Let's create a table for wave height in Maine. I'm going to use the search bar, but you could use any of the other previously mentioned search options. Select the data hyperlink under GridDAP data or TableDAP data. GridDAP lets you request data subsets, graphs, and maps from gridded datasets. Gridded data contains parameters applied across a specific area or region. Not all data are gridded data. TableDAP lets you request a data subset from one specific point or asset that formats as a table, much like a CSV spreadsheet file, only the output is as a unique URL. Depending on whether your data are available via GridDAP or TableDAP, you will be brought to a slightly different page. However, the same actions need to be applied to both. Select desired dimensions and apply constraints on data ranges if needed. Select your dependent variables. For this example, I wanted my table to include time, wave height, and wave period. Time constraint restricts window to January 2004 through January 2006. If using TableDAP, select Distinct, which allows you to sort your data by the desired dependent variable. 
For this example, I told it to organize the data by significant wave height. Now let's create a graph for wave height and main using the same data. Select the graph hyperlink under make a graph. Apply constraints on axis values. In this example, the time constraint is still restricted to January 2004 through January 2006. Select distinct if necessary, personalize the graph using graph settings, and select redraw the graph. Sharing your graphic is made easy by Erdow. To share your graphic, select the file export type in KML, PDF, PNG, HTML table, and many more. However, PDF is the simplest way to download a graph in my opinion. Click download the data or an image, or use the URL and take a screenshot. Thanks for watching. I hope this was a helpful guide to this great resource that Neocruz has to offer. For more instruction, see our written tutorial on our website or reach out to us directly at info at